similar to what you see up there in the ceiling tile where you have all these lines are going off into the back distance over there to a vanishing point. You could sort of imagine since they're parallel that they all meet at a point somewhere far in the distance. They don't because they're parallel, but that is the theory behind linear perspective. To show that illusion, you make them all go to a vanishing point on your paper, on your flat surface in two dimensions, and that gives the appearance that they're coming out at the viewer. Um, and then these lines going this way would also meet at a vanishing point somewhere back there. This is a image of that linear perspective drawn out a little bit better. And you can see it when you're driving around in wide open spaces. You see lines coming out at you from the left and the right. Sometimes you see it in the sky even with the clouds. You see a lot more small detail closer to the horizon and they get larger as they come out at you. Sometimes they create lines themselves. I like to take pictures of clouds, obviously. Uh, sometimes you see it in the ground, with the way things are laid out. It helps with the landscape composition. I've been looking for this for a while. The idea is I'm going to have a horizon here and then I'm going to swipe. I'm either going to swipe the, the towel this way with the pivot point on here. Let's just, I, I have two experiments, probably do two different paintings. So either traditionally I swipe down and then I swipe up, but with this, I'm going to swipe pivoting on a vanishing point and then swipe again over here, pivoting on a vanishing point, and then I would still swipe up for the sky. Now, um, if that doesn't work, I could also do a bunch of smaller swipes going in diagonal stripes like this from each way, but I think that that is just gonna be nightmarish to try to do. I could also try a string swipe that people do the flowers with. Maybe that would work with the landscape. Well, we're going to try all of those things. So this is experiment number one, which is going to be the pivot point swipe. And I mixed up some of this. It's sort of a bluish silver and I'm not a big fan. So that's why we're going to use it for this experiment because I haven't been, it, it doesn't m mix with my normal silver color scheme with the micaceous oxide and the black and the gold because it has a cooler tone to it. It, it screws with the warm tone of my, uh, my neutral color scheme, which sounds strange because neutrals are supposed to be neutral and shouldn't have warm and cool tones, but they do. Color theory is complicated. So, got my paint on here. Again, this is sort of a coolish, I, I don't even remember what I put in this, but it's got, it's got my iridescent silver, but it's also got blue of some sort in it. And maybe you can't see it on screen, I don't know, but it does. Trust me. And then we'll pop some air bubbles. And um, I'll get my handy dandy paintbrush here to touch up the sides. Okay, um, now I'm going to 
gonna get my black and do my horizon. Okay, that is not the neatest of pores, but again, this is an experiment, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Over here, off screen, over here off screen, I've got my paper towel and my spray bottle. Now, um, I shall swipe up first. And then coming back down, I establish a pivot point and I'm going to swipe that way. Hmm. So that created a curve and the orthogonals don't curve. It's trash. Uh, so I already can say that I don't like that. Um, hmm. So the pivot point, I should have been able to proceed that, but I didn't. It's too long. So the pivot point thing might not be the way to go. Oh, no, 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 no. I do need it to overlap some. Okay, so second swipe, we're gonna go up again. not working at all. to the bald spot here, so I'm gonna maybe do a little mini swipe to fix that one little area. did not work for what I wanted to do. I was hoping that having some things going this way and then some things overlapping this way that I would get that orthogonal feel of things emanating from these two points, but instead I just got overwhelming curves going that way, which makes sense because that was the direction of the pore. So what? So. Maybe we'll just move on to theory number two. We'll try theory number two and we'll see how that goes. All right, so theory number two is that, um, that I take small pieces of swipe material and just sort of emulate the orthogonals individually. We'll see how it goes. That's a much better horizon than the first time. 
Okay, so now the trick is to get some decent twine pieces. So here's number one. And I always go up first, so I'll try to still do that. first because from there it would be down. So then up and over. Eee, went too fast. Let's try that again. Ugh, I already don't like theory number two. Okay. I probably should alternate going this way and this way. I am planning to come back this way, but they should alternate, right? So they overlap a little. are like, what are you doing? Courtney, this don't make no sense.
Okay, so the illusion is starting to work, but the weaving is distracting. So I think I need to be more systematic with it. So right now, you can see that it's like some things are going over and some things are going under. Maybe if I were to start at the back of the horizon and go left, right, left, right, and then work towards the front, then that overlap would make more sense. I like how these things are starting to sort of look like trees in a forest. Um, so experiment two, we're onto something. This might be something. Um, I'm gonna try my third theory before I redo this in a more systematic way, which is um, sorry, uh, I decided to mess some more. I don't know why. Um, Why did I just do that? I don't know. Because I felt like it. Did it screw it up? Maybe. Okay, so anyways, what was I saying? I was saying that I'm going to move on and try that string thing I was thinking about. Because some people use strings to... Uh, how would I do that, though? They're making flowers with strings by pulling and then you get a petal formation. But I was wondering if I could pull it in the straightness of that orthogonal and then maybe that would... I don't think that would do much of a swipe though. And if I did it like a pivot point like I did before, I would just end up with curves, which is, I don't want that. I'm going to skip theory number three because I'm thinking it through and I don't think it'll work. I'm going to do another one like this. a couple of thin spots that I was just thinking if I agitated it back and forth maybe they would cover themselves up but I don't think they're going to so I'm just gonna it's just this one spot right here I just need like a drip of black and then maybe one more side Stop messing with it. Okay. I'm gonna stop. I've got I've got my idea. I understand what I need to do now. This is not successful, but it's showing me what I need to do. So let's try that again. OK, 
Okay, so in the last painting, we uh, we did uh, orthogonal lines with separate pieces of paper towel, similar to what you see up there in the ceiling tile, where you have all these lines are going off into the back distance over there to a vanishing point. You could sort of imagine, since they're parallel, that they all meet at a point somewhere far in the distance. They don't because they're parallel, but that is the theory behind linear perspective is that um, to show that illusion, you make them all go to a vanishing point on your paper, on your flat surface in two dimensions, and that gives the appearance that they're coming out at the viewer. Um, and then these lines going this way would also meet at a vanishing point somewhere back there. So that's what I'm trying to do here on my canvas. Might not have enough paint on it this time, but we're just experimenting. So there's my horizon line. I think I need a little bit more paint. Give me some more black. lots of little pieces to make this work. So over here, off to the side, I'm just, unfortunately the paper towel doesn't want to rip the direction I want it to rip because I want these straight edges, but it's just not going to happen. to the green of the paper. Okay, so there's that, and then I'll just rip them like that, and then I got a whole bunch of individual pieces. So I said I was going to go this way, then this way, then this way, then this way, all the way down to get my angles. So, I'll have to say it out loud so I remember. This is left, and I'm gonna go way back here on the horizon. And then right, and way back here on the horizon. That was curvy. Orthogonals don't curve. All right. Then, number two. Stop it. Now I know why I haven't worked with little bits. Because I'm swiping from the same spot over and over again, I gotta retouch the black there. Um, Alright, so. saying it out loud like this. Yet. 
I'm not gonna give up on this theory though. Okay, sorry, there was a disturbance. I had some students come in to use the sink and um, it distracted me. So I got a little off on my pattern of alternation uh, and it sat for a little bit and I reflectively feel like this might still be the way to go. So we're gonna continue and set it aside. So, So in the center, it feels believable. There's a weaving together that overlaps as it gets closer to you, which works better. I screwed it up there though, I see. This needs to overlap that instead of that overlapping this. So I'm gonna start over from here and I might have to touch up a couple more. That's where I got distracted. Still, I think this is working. This needs to overlap with that. And then this needs to overlap with that. Ooh, I hate it when I accidentally do curves. Um, that's the one thing that's hard about this is it the paper wants to bend and I think I need to, I might need to cut actual pieces that go with the grain the way I want them to because this is tricky. All right, then if that overlaps that, then I think the rest is all right. But I think I want to straighten up the horizon and do one more upswipe just so you can't see all my little individual things. But maybe that might make the uh, top a little too uniform. But if that's the case, then maybe I'll just do some more individual swipes up there just to break it up. We'll see. So 
just sort of kiss the edge there just to make a line. This is heading in a direction that makes sense to me. I just need to try it again. I think the more I do it, the more practice I'll get and the better. I've got one more this size that I can experiment with, so we'll try it one more time. experiment number four and I have cut my spreading cards that are you know just junk mail I've cut them out into these ready-made strips that are hopefully not going to give and sway and cause the curves in the orthogonals that I wasn't liking in the other ones otherwise we're going to use the same approach so I will fast forward until we get to this part Okay, uh, I should pop the air bubbles, just... So we'll go with the horizon first. Heavy on the corners. And then, um, sure I'm going to swipe up this time. I'm just going to be really um, diligent about keeping these at an angle as I swipe. Thank you. 
I mean, that looks sort of contrived to me right now. Uh, also, you can just see there's this weird ripple there, which I don't know if it's unappealing, but it's not my intention to have that happen. I've got a bald spot here I need to work on. No, maybe I'll just do this. So just switching it around, I see that there's a big puddle in the center. If I do that, maybe it will flow. right down to where my hand is. I want it to go to the other edges. All right. That was funky. Funky fresh. Maybe I want to keep doing that. No, I'm messing. All right. I'm gonna keep doing that because I like the way that was looking. But I really want it to, I want it to come off this side. There we go. Yeah. And I want it to go off the other side. Can you do that for me? There you go. There you go. It doesn't look like a landscape anymore, but I think I like it. It's funky. I wasn't really liking it. That's cool. I'm trying to decide how I want to finish it. Y'all are saying, quit my song, wrap it up. The only thing is, I just don't like that curve right there. But I'm going to leave it. I dig it. It's nice. Yay! Yay! test with um, with this landscape swipe idea um, I think I will still go with the these cut cards here um, it worked all right maybe I'll do it widthwise this time to see how that works
also this canvas has some texture underneath because it was a painting I did with my kids and it cracked because it was a shoestring budget uh, painting and I don't know how some people do it with those shoestring budget because every time I do a shoestring budget painting it cracks and looks awful. So I'm going to stick with my good old handy dandy. So I can already see that this is going to be a problem. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Swiping. Yeah, how do you do the wide swipes? I need more black. So I'm trying to grab the black from up there. And I'm cheating. Okay, um, oops. Looks cool, except for the sides here. Got that fixed it. Yeah, I could just do that. Huh? That's not bad. Hey, I like that. I think I might have done it this time. We'll see. I'm liking this. Here, I will let you see it. So I think this is the first successful one where, I don't know, I really feel some depth to this. Like from foreground, ooh, and then there, right there, wow. I mean, that just really feels like some hills and valleys, doesn't it? Like there's a road sort of traveling around in there. I think that might be my first successful something. I, I don't know about this right here though. Like do I want to swipe that that way like a foreground something? I think there needs to be something in the foreground. I'm going to do it. Don't hate me. right here. This is just coming at me too much, so I'm gonna swipe something. I'm just grabbing some extra over here, and I'm just gonna go And then maybe a Maybe something goes this way. I 
lost it. Now I'm not sure what's going on anymore. That's so lovely, but what's going on in the foreground? I don't know. Maybe I need to do... a swipe. It needed something in the foreground. I'm not sure that's it, but it helped. Maybe I'll come back this way one time. I can hear you guys screaming at the screen. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. I like it. There's a lot going on here, but I like it. successful series of experiments towards a abstract landscape let's try that again an abstract landscape swipe so yeah i think this has been a successful series of experiments this is number five um before it shifts i just want to give you a close-up uh, i feel like i got a nice foreground now that leads your eye into that center right there and we've got a cloudy sky 
Maybe. Maybe that's something. This is the results of that uh, linear perspective landscape swipe experiment. This was number one. Doesn't really look like much of anything because I was trying to do a pivot swipe. Realized that wasn't going to work. Came to these smaller piece swipes. Then I realized I really needed to work from back to front or top to bottom and overlap in a way that read more from front to back, foreground to background. So that's what happened here. And then played around a little with manipulating it afterwards and stretching it out. Got some hillsides and some valleys going on. I like that one a lot. Uh, and then I went back and tried one more time to sort of pull it all together. And we got this. And I, I like both of these a lot. They're fun and successful, I think. So uh, I might play around with that idea a little more in the future. I feel like it definitely reads with some depth and feels sort of like an abstract landscape. So yay, that was a fun experiment. And there you have it. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com. Bye.